Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team with this next video for your motivation, inspiration and resilience during this time of crisis with the STREAM program. Today, I want to share with you the problem. And the problem we have here is that you feel like you've lost your identity. You feel like you've lost a bit of self-respect. You just feel completely frustrated in that sense that you just feel like, oh, you know, I've, um, I've just lost who I used to be because I'm just in lockdown. I've lost what I used to mean to people. Let me provide you with a solution. What things during this time of lockdown or what thoughts have you abandoned and thrown out the window that you used to entertain before? Now, if you were to ask me this question right now, this is really what I've been thinking a lot about over the last two weeks. If you were to ask me this question, I've got some answers for you. I've abandoned taking things for granted. I've abandoned, that's a choice I've made, taking things for granted. That's one of the things I've thrown out the window. I've abandoned the idea that if I have everything set out and that if I aim for something in the future, it's all going to work out perfectly in some smooth, flowing way. Nope, we are in a time of change, and that change is only going to get greater, so I've abandoned that thought. I've abandoned the idea that I have to have one set solution or one set way of getting through life. Because suddenly life is so different now, I've had to abandon that, and, but learn to be more agile. Um, it could be snacking on bad food on a daily basis, eating lots of chocolate and biscuits, which I would just take for granted, or I'd... I'd nip out to the shops whenever I could and just, just get those things to eat. I've abandoned those snacking routines I used to be in, or at least remind myself it's not good to do that in this state of crisis. So I think during the state of crisis, there's a lot of things that we have had to abandon, but also choices that we've abandoned. I was speaking to some, somebody the other day who works for a business, this person, she'd, had, she'd abandoned her old way of thinking about doing business. And she didn't embrace that and celebrated it and was very enthusiastic explaining it to me. She said, do you know what, Tony? Business now will never be quite the same. Because now, people will, will abandon the old idea that you have to travel 5,000 miles to meet somebody every time you have to have a meeting. Why can't we do that online? So she, she had welcomely abandoned, welcomely those new thought processes and abandon the old ones because to move forward in life is very much about what you let go of as opposed to what you grab for. What aspect of this relates to our set triangle to serve, empathy and to think? Of course if you abandon certain old principles that's going to enhance your ability to serve. Tony what does this mean for you now, right now? Well let me give you an example. I used to think to myself, well, you know, I'll, I'll maybe serve occasionally once a week or once a month in this capacity with the Think to Thrive program. Because of the crisis, I've abandoned that old way of thinking. Now it's daily. Now it's a daily desire to serve, and that's how I've abandoned old thoughts with new ones. I'm going to ask Mike Hendricks now what he does or has done. What has Mike abandoned in his lifestyle during this crisis? Um, let's find out from Mike Hendricks. Mike, what have you abandoned or got rid of, thrown out the window that you used to do before during this time of crisis? So abandoned, it's a uh, very interesting word and a very unique spin that Tony's put on the use of the word abandon. You could argue that using the term abandon is often um, associated with a negative um, connotations or negative aspect or angle but in this time that we find ourselves in at the moment um, again using that term flip it as we spoke about in a previous video you can check that out just up here um, flipping the situation and using the word abandon in a positive way so abandoning certain things that perhaps weren't serving you abandoning certain in habits that weren't helpful abandoning certain thought patterns and you could change those abandonments and start looking to as we're all having to do adapt and adopt so two words that again 
can be used positively, adapting and adopting, adopting new thought patterns, adopting new habits, adopting new ways of thinking that's going to move you in a progressive and a productive way moving forward towards a specific goal or if it's just to get through these challenging times that we find ourselves in at the moment. Adopting is something that I'm having to do on a regular basis. Um, on a daily basis, obviously the kids are at home, they're not at school, they're not at nursery. So I'm having to adopt new ways of doing things in terms of my working patterns, which is not easy, especially when you've got two very young children that are constantly grabbing for your att attention all the time. But using those terms, abandoning old ways and adopting and adapting, you can really look at progressing and moving forward and handling any stressful situation with much more calm and control and much more ease and much more confidence and again that's something that we speak about extensively in our think to thrive program how you can just begin to adapt adopt <laughs> and abandon as well and certain things that aren't helping you and adopt things that will help you i.e new mindsets new ways of thinking new ways of looking at things changing your perception moving forward all right, so again, go away, take on board what we've said today, try to apply it in your everyday life. How can you begin to abandon certain things? Go away and answer that question. Until the next video, take care and here's to your success.